where you have your distribution facilities, what kind of facilities you have and how you use them is basically the, the most strategic question that you have to answer if you want to master the urban last mile. So the last mile is typically what we refer to as the last leg of transportation to the final recipient. That is what we define as the urban last mile. While the last mile is just the shortest final leg of the global supply chain, it's actually the most complex and also the most costly part. The final mile actually accounts to about 40% of the overall supply chain cost. And so that tells you how important it is to get that last mile right. It's not about applying off-the-shelf solutions, it's about having tailor-made solutions to the specific urban environments that you care about. A very common problem in last mile logistics is a driver deviating from the optimal route that was planned for him or for her. We were experimenting lately with a couple of machine learning tools, for instance, to just use something simple like GPS data or just log files from the vehicle, like when which customer was being served, and feeding that into these rather complicated models and then basically having a way to identify which customer was actually causing the disruption along a route, which was otherwise only possible by talking to the driver directly and actually asking why did you deviate, which you obviously can't do at scale. So understanding both the behavior of that driver and also extracting the local knowledge that this driver has about the urban environment that he or she operates in. Now we have a tool that just uses data to extract human knowledge from seemingly cold data. There's not like a one-size-fits-all solution to any given city in the world. So a solution for last mile logistics in New York City might look very different from the best solution for last mile logistics in Sao Paulo or in Paris. A very popular trend these days is the potential for drone-based delivery. While many people think, oh, drone delivery is going to be around the corner, it's going to happen within the next two, three years, our thinking right now, and it's backed by the research that we do, says that we're never going to see pure play drone-based delivery in urban contexts. What we will see eventually is combined vehicle technology. So for instance, drones working simultaneously with trucks, serving as the mothership for the drones that do the final delivery. That's kind of an interesting model. The real challenge that still has to be overcome is how the technology interacts with the human. It's not enough to just send a drone somewhere to drop a package if it's unsolved how the human recipient would actually interact with that drone safely and conveniently. And these are very much uh, unsolved problems these days, um, regardless of all the infrastructure that would have to be created for these potentially game-changing new solutions to actually become a reality. The interaction between a human and a potentially autonomous technology is probably one of the biggest challenges to solve.